every single one of the gyms that we saw over time and the ones that implement this see their attrition drop by over 67%. Once a month, they would write a handwritten card to every single one of their members. Simple system to do this is take your entire client count, divide them up into four groups, and week one, hit the first group. Week two, hit the second group. Week three, week four. So you don't have to save all of them to the end, but you're writing handwritten cards every single day and you're, then you're mailing them out. Hey, Susie, phenomenal job this past month. Really loved how hard you went during this workout. Hey, Susie, congratulations on losing 10 pounds this past month. Your effort and success is incredible. You're an inspiration to all of us. Obviously, happy birthdays and things like that, add those in. This again adds a special touch. Want to make three times as much per client than all of your competition? Here's how you do it. This is the exact system that our gyms use to cut their attrition by over 67% in the first three months. And I'll walk you through this at the end and I'll show you the future of what it will look like inside of your facility. My name is Kayla Owen. I am the CEO of Gym Launch and Prestige Labs. And my goal in life is to help gym owners reach more people, change more lives, and stack a whole bunch of cash. And so I want to walk you through the five horsemen of retention, which we have found over years of tracking retention and attrition within gyms and the five simple steps that you can use to be able to cut your attrition by more than 67% in three months so that you can ultimately keep your clients three times as long and make three times as much money. So here's how to do it. Number one is the very first thing that we noticed across all of the gyms that had sub 5% attrition, the first thing that they were doing was they were tracking weekly attendance, meaning they were having their clients check in for classes. And what they were doing is by Wednesday, if someone had not checked in through Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, by Thursday morning, they were picking up the phone and calling every one of those members. So what they would do is they would use their CRM to track attendance. Then they would pull a report on everyone that had not been in by Wednesday. And on Thursday morning, they had someone on their team calling them to check in and get them scheduled for their next class. So that was number one. Number two is every single week, all of these gyms would be texting their clients, all of their clients, two times a week. Some of them would do three times a week, but they would be checking in, just seeing, hey, how was the workout? Hey, how you doing? Hey, great job today, that was phenomenal, awesome work. And they would set all of these pieces in place so that they were always making sure that they were contacting all of their clients at least twice a week, just to continue the relationship and make sure that they were still top of mind. Good news is here at Gym Launch, we've created an automated way to do this, where the messages go out without you having to send the messages and all you have to do is reply to them. Number three is handwritten cards. Yes, I know this may sound tedious, but every single one of the gyms that we saw over time and the ones that implement this see their attrition drop by over 67% as one of the pieces key pieces to be able to fill in and do this entire five horsemen of retention. Now you may be thinking immediately like, oh man, that's a lot of work. Yes, it is. But owning a gym is a lot of work as well. So handwritten cards, once a month, they would write a handwritten card to every single one of their members. Simple system to do this is take your entire client count, divide them up into four groups and week one, hit the first group. Week two, hit the second group. Week three, week four. So you don't have to save all of them to the end, but you're writing handwritten cards every single day and you're, then you're mailing them out. And again, these are very simple, sim similar to the text that you would send. It's just a simple, hey, Susie, phenomenal job this past month. Really loved how hard you went during this workout. Hey, Susie, congratulations on losing 10 pounds this past month. Your effort and success is incredible. You're an inspiration to all of us, right? Things like that. Obviously, happy birthdays and things like that. Add those in. This again adds a special touch. Number four are events. Typically, the what our clients do is anywhere between every four to six weeks, they're having a big event. And it could be an internal play where they're doing a competition internally with their gym, or they're just holding a simple event around the holidays or just for any reason, really. It doesn't matter whether it's a potluck, going out on the town, doesn't matter. They are holding events to create a stronger community. Number five is exit interviews. This is really, really important. So exit interviews, every single one of your clients that wants to exit, you sit down, you go through, why are they wanting to leave? How have you failed them? How can you help them ultimately achieve the result that they want so that they can stay and gives you a chance to win them back. If you want a quick little tip on this, this is how you keep them. It's very simple. So if you want to increase the number of exit interviews you're able to have, all you do is give people an incentive to switch to ACH, meaning instead of paying you with a credit card, they can just cancel the credit card. If you get them to pay with ACH, then they have to come meet with you in order to cancel. It becomes harder to cancel on that process. And remember, it's not because you're trying to trick them into staying. What you want to do is really truly find out how you failed them and how you can fix it. One of the easiest ways is to simply give them another 30 days of free so that you can then tell them, listen, these are the points that we're failing you on. I want to address all of those and I want to crush all those for the next 30 days. And if we crush these, you'll continue to stay, correct? Awesome. Get them to sign and then you can save them. Let me show you real quick the future of what your gym would look like if you implemented all of these. And this is what we have seen countless times as soon as a gym does this. 
Now, month zero, let's say month zero, you're starting at 15%. The first month you implement the five horsemen of retention, your churn is gonna go up by roughly 50%. Now you might be thinking, Kale, like why in the world are you, would I do this? Well, the reason why is because you're shaking the tree. If you've never reached out to your clients, never done handwritten cards or doing anything, you might have clients that are paying you and not even showing up. And frankly, you most likely don't want that unless you're a, a low price, high value style facility, that's okay. But for here, if you're a boutique fitness facility, you want those clients consuming your product because that means your retention is gonna be better. Here, you're gonna see a spike. So you go to 22 and a half percent. Cool part is the next month, it will cut in half from that number. So now by month two, you're already below what your initial baseline percentage was. And then by the next month, by month three, it will stabilize at that percentage and cut in half again. So now you can go from 15% to 5.6% in three short months, which is a 67% decrease. And means if you stay there, the clients compared to where you were before, will stay three times as long, almost actually over three times as long, and you'll be able to make three times as much money off of them, which means that you'll be able to change more lives, impact more people, and stack way more cash. So if this is helpful and you like this type of information, smash the like button, hit the subscribe button as well. Um, we have a ton more content around this. And if you want more frameworks that are similar to this and you want to learn other things on how you can scale your gym, we have a simple free download for you. It's called the seven money models. You can click the link down in the description, grab that download. It's got 30 different frameworks to help you scale your gym to over hundred thousand dollars a month, like clockwork, which is exactly what we do here at gym launch. But I hope you like this information and I'll see you on other videos and content. Just do me a favor. My only request is implement this. So let me go back real quick, implement this piece. Because the biggest problem for most gyms in regards to scaling is churn. And ultimately, if people leave, you're not able to make the impact that you want. So if you want to make a massive impact, implement these five horsemen of retention so that you can keep your clients longer, change their lives, and ultimately make more money.